After delivering one of the F Xbox's finest games in Knights of the Old Republic, Bioware would work with Microsoft to fulfil their dream concept, something the company's founders had held dear since their inception. The result was Jade Empire, and you can tell it's a labour of love, but sadly it sits as an oft-forgotten RPG due to how close in proximity it launched with the Xbox's successor. But this does not reflect the quality of the game which boasts a unique and engrossing world, a layered story with lore and twists to spare, and a technical presentation which pushes the Xbox to the limit. Not everything is superb, including issues with combat and length, but these aren't enough to stop Jade Empire being a great time. Jade Empire follows a martial arts student, one of several you can select at the beginning, whom was rescued by Master Lee and groomed as a superb warrior. After an attack on the village escalates with assassins and undead ghosts invading, Lee informs the hero of their purpose and potential to help bring balance to the Jade Empire, only to be kidnapped and spark the quest which will see this character realise their destiny. The story, like much of Bioware's output from this era, is top notch. Writing is deep yet accessible, hooking you in with a bounty of fascinating lore inspired by Chinese mythology you'll meet a multitude of characters who are not just combat assistants, but deep personalities with stories to uncover, and they may not even get along with other party members. A myriad of twists, some minor, some far bigger, keeps you on your toes, and despite nearly treading into cliché territory with the hero and his destiny arc, Jade Empire's complexities keep it afloat. Your search is over, Assassin, but no one will hear of your success. The world of Jade Empire remains one of the most distinctive to Grace Gaming. Infused with Chinese mythology, locales not only look gorgeous, but are a joy to unravel. As man and mythical creatures stand together in bustling cityscapes, rural countryside, and darker caverns, plenty of side quests open up along with the main thread. Some seem menial, like fetching items, but many are deep sub-narratives with multiple outcomes depending on your actions. Rather than a simple good-evil morality, Biomare would implement the open-closed palm, where one prioritises ingenuity and using cunning, the other a first for violence and selfishness. Missions, thanks to this system, can offer a handful of outcomes depending. In one mission, an ogre ox carrier causes a scene in a tea house, which can be dealt with using intuition and persuading him the oxes are lonely, charm and helping it realise the owner needs his help, or just fight it instead to help the tea house. It's these little diversions, outside of the linear main quest, that lend the player a lot of incentive to explore and engage. When you're not talking, fists have to fly, and this component is perhaps Jade Empire's weakest link. Not that combat is bad, because the martial arts infused styles are quite exciting. Along with a starting style, you can learn and equip up to three more techniques, which allow you to wield weapons, cast magic spells, and even transform into demonic creatures. But even with these flourishes, combat feels a tad basic. You'll often find yourself in a loop of striking, using a stronger strike to break an opponent's guard, and occasionally diving overhead to avoid attacks. The lack of customization feels like a missed opportunity, with only three key stats to manage through level ups, and outside of equipping gems to your hero's amulet, it feels kind of gaunt. The action focus and real-time fighting is definitely more accessible, perhaps to placate console users on a gamepad, but even on higher difficulty settings, later combat becomes a breeze.
Jade Empire is also surprisingly short. With a lengthier set of initial chapters that include a healthy dose of side quests, seemingly giving way to a rushed quartet of concluding ones, with very little side content to speak of. Even if you invest in this side content, you'll struggle to break the 20 hour mark on an initial run. But the key word here is initial, because the malleability of the story, the range of starter characters, and alternate outcomes for smaller quests, does warrant at least another run through, just to see how choosing the opposite approach can alter the end result. There are other elements to consider, such as romancing party members, and being able to replay the minigames encountered, including the shmup segments which serve as your method of travel between locales. It's just a shame that Jade Empire ends just as momentum really starts to build. Jade Empire would push the Xbox, even more so than the technically uneven Knights of the Old Republic, but the engine does seem more stable this time around. Characters bear intricate clothing and emote quite well, environments boast gorgeous lighting and vibrant colours, and plenty of neat touches creep their way in, such as the striking gore when using certain weapons, beautiful FMVs, and a plethora of eye-catching and varied creature designs. The audio side benefits greatly from superb voice work, including some unique tongue certain characters use. The music, composed by Jack Wall, is seeped with Chinese culture, providing an apt accompaniment for the game, and the sound effects, be it the hard hits of combat or magical incantations, are good too. Jade Empire is a one-of-a-kind experience that, despite some deeper flaws, was kept afloat with Bioware's penchant for excellent world building, fantastic storytelling, and technical prowess. Its mythical world of martial arts, demonic creatures, and conspiracy is one you'll be sucked into with ease, and finding all of the alternate paths many missions offer will keep you coming back for more. Despite combat being a touch cursory, and a shorter length compared to most RPGs, Xbox owners would do well to pick this one up, even if you aren't especially keen on the genre. It's a gem that, amongst the Xbox's dense library, was cruelly overlooked.